we can use pressure in a system called a hydraulic system. And a hydraulic system is a system um, which uses pistons. And those pistons are used to um, push a liquid from one place to another and they cause the one piston causes the other one to move. So hydraulic systems use the principle um, that pressure is transmitted throughout a fluid. And hydraulic systems are used to transfer movement from one part of a machine to another part without linking the parts mechanically, in other words, using something else to link them. And in this case, hydraulic systems use two pistons. There's one and there's a second one. They're linked via a pipe and the pipe has a special oil in it called a hydraulic fluid. So you exert a force here on the, on the first piston and the first piston is called the master piston. And um, that then, when you exert the force here, it um, produces a pressure. The pressure is transmitted the whole way through the liquid to the second piston. The second piston is called the slave piston. And that produces a force. Which can then be used to do some kind of job like lifting or something like that. It works because the pressure inside all parts of the hydraulic system is the same. So we say that a liquid um, tra transmits pressure and it works because a liquid has particles which are very close together and that makes it incompressible. Incompressible. Now there's a, something that was mentioned here, it says that it's a special oil and it's very important that the liquid in here is in oil and not water and there are two reasons for that. The first one is that if it was water and the piston got hot, as pistons do when they're moving, then that could cause the liquid or the water to boil and that could cause it to evaporate. You'd lose pressure inside your system or the other way around, if it got too cold, it could cause the water in here to freeze and then obviously it wouldn't work. The second reason is that you use oil because if you have water in here and water's inside something which has metal, it can cause rusting and so an oil won't, will prevent that from happening. So a, a hydraulic system works because a liquid is incompressible and it transmits um, pressure from one piston to the other. Right, this is another diagram here and this is just to prove that pressure is the same on both sides. So if you came along here to this um, uh, hydraulic system and you put a force on here of two newtons then that would cause this side here to move up and the pressure at each side should be the same so I'm going to do a pressure calculation pressure is force over area the force is 2 the area is 0.25 and 0.25 goes into 2 8 times so the, the pressure is 8 pascals and that pressure is transmitted the whole way through the liquid to the other side. Over here, it's saying that it produces an output force of 6 newtons over an area of 0.75 metres squared. So that's 6 over 0.75. And that, surprisingly, or non-surprisingly, gives you 8 pascals as well. Now, there's a very strange thing there. You can see that you're using a small force produce a large force and that's why this works so well. Pressure, calculation of pressure is a ratio idea, it's a ratio of a force divided by an area and on this side you've got a small force and a small area and on this side you've got a large force and a large area and that's why it works. If this has got a large area then it will work very well or this has a large area I suppose I should be saying it's this part here that's got the large area and this part here that's got the small area. That's what, those are the actual pistons themselves. So you could then put a large weight on the top of this side and you could use a small force to produce a large force to lift your weight. The other thing is you can see here that the input force here is, or the output force here is three times that of the input force and so is the area, three times that of the input area or the area of the, the master piston. Right, the last part here is there are many places that hydraulics are used um, in many kinds of systems and machinery but one of the ones which is a very regular use is hydraulic braking system. 
So if you can see the foot on the pedal here, this is a brake pedal. Person comes along, pushes down um, on the brake pedal. That causes this piston to move down this direction, causes pressure in the brake fluid, and then that pushes the brake pads against the disc um, attached to the wheel, and that causes the car to stop. So it's only showing one brake pad here. There are, in fact, of course, eight brake pads, two on each wheel. There, there would be one on each side. Um, <clears throat> and so they would all be operated by a hydraulic system. Um, if, if the question wanted you to know that, they would tell you how many brake pads there are. There, in some cases, there may only be four. And there's a lot of friction between the brake pad and the, the disc, and that slows the car down. So when you press this down, the piston and the master cylinder moves down, produces pressure, and that produces a force, which is a large force which stops the wheel moving. Um, so the pressure is transmitted to the pistons on all four wheels of the car. So you could be asked to do some kind of calculation on that. There's also another thing going on here with moments, um, where you're talking about moments happening here as well, but I'm not going to go into that right now. It's just good for if you understand that. So you can see it's very important that the brake fluid isn't water. If that evaporated or rusted the inside of the tubes there, then this wouldn't work. And you can imagine it would be a very dangerous situation. Right, so there's a calculation here. The master piston of a car has an area of 5 centimetres squared. If a force of 10 newtons is applied, calculate the pressure created in the brake pipes. So there's an answer to number 1. Pressure is force over area. And that is equal to 10 over 5. And the answer is 2. So it's in newtons centimetres squared. So it's newtons per centimetre squared. Number 2. If the slave piston has an area of 50 centimetres squared, Calculate the force exerted on the brake disc. So we know the same pressure is transmitted throughout the fluid. So pressure is force over area, again. And the pressure in this case is 2. And that is equal to, we don't know what the force is, but we do know that the area is 50. So to get the answer to that, force is equal to 50 times 2. And that's equal to 100. Newtons. So in other words, we are using a force of 10 newtons to produce a force of 100 newtons. So that, I mean, that is obviously a really, really good help to us. And that works because the area of the, um, the slave piston is 10 times that, the area of the, the master piston. And therefore we get 10 times the amount of force produced. And that's the end of hydraulics and pressure.